Hey guys, I guess we're returning back to Hypnospace Outlaw, the game that is the game about the internet, you know. Let's start off with the bass solo, yeah. Um, it is almost 11pm, today is May 16th, and I'm actually doing this as post-commentary, uh, cause whatever. Um, this is gonna be a bit of a longer video, but the thing is, when I play this game, I like to really take my time and, like, explore this kind of thing and goof around. Honestly, there, you know, because there is story to this game. Um, unfortunately, I have a really hard time figuring my way through this game. I mean, I like goofing around and finding all the different stuff, but, like, I guess this part wasn't so difficult, but, like, I was really scared of just, like, going into it without a walkthrough. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. Um... But here I started looking at Cool Punk, and I looked at Cool Punk from, uh, it's this New Year's Eve, 1999, and, um, Cool Punk looks totally different. Um, Hall of the Lost Kids. It saddens me that my closest friends and allies would throw away what we've created. Uh, yeah, the... The whole cool punk storyline, it's, it's interesting, um, it's interesting, it's weird. <laughs> ear mint gum for ear and mouth. Your favorite band is bringing down the house. You have VIP tickets to hang with them after the show. But wait, you just ate one of Grandpa's famous buckets of garlic shrimp stew and your breath smells gnarlier than an unlabeled container in the back of the fridge. Yeah, we've all been there. Thankfully, it doesn't have to be this way. So, like, do you put it in your ears? What? Why does it say for your ears and mouth? Oh, and then you get the seepage experience. Because, like, Cool Punk has moved over to being more of a cool grunge sort of thing. I don't know. Seepage... Seepage is co technically considered, like, new metal, but, like, at least in real life, like, new metal, like, NU, I don't even know. That's apparently, a, like, a thing. Um, oh, we have that archival thing. Oh, the background is, like, transparent. And then, there it goes. Yeah. I don't know if that's on purpose or whatever, but oh, yeah, it must be on purpose because it's a little glitchy. So, download song, watch vid, install theme. And we install the theme and it puts like a background on our computer. This is a pretty great video. Oh man, that crusty 3D animation. It's glorious. Da 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 Looks like Jolted from Mathman. Can't believe Christopher Nolan is making another movie. It's a pretty decent song. I mean, all the musicians that Jay Tholen found for this game... I mean, Jay Tholen is himself a pretty cool musician. Um, oh, by the way, I have... I, I bought his other game. I bought Dropsy. Um, I haven't played it yet, but I know that Jay Tholen is a pretty outspoken Christian and a fan of weird music and, like, a really cool person overall. Like, if there's a video game developer that I would love to meet personally and just, like, talk to on the phone, um, not meet personally because I think he lives in Germany right now. Like, he's from Florida originally, which is why there's so many, like, Florida references in this game. Um, but, like, he lives in Germany. Um, but, yeah, they're, they're coming out... Oh, in Spyro Haze. This is hilarious. They are making a sequel to Hypnospace, which I'm really excited for. You Can Do It by The Motivator. Um, as corny as this is, it's not nearly as bad as the other, uh, in Spyro Hayes song, which we'll see in just a second. Pep Talk, you're promoted. So we're downloading. 
Inspiro Hayes needs more artists. Wanna inspire your fellow human? I guess so, but not like that. Oops, clicking on the wrong thing. Good job on the promotion. I knew you could do it. I talked to Abraham, but I think that's what he said. Uh, the drums are actually kind of cool. If it wasn't for the cheesy lyrics about getting promoted, I th this would be a, a pretty kick in uh, Sega Genesis, like level level one or level four or some something. Um, anyway, continuing on. Um. Basically, at this point of the game, we have to do, like, the HAP archival, uh, no, that's, that's like saying ATM machine, or PIN number. Uh, basically, the Hypnospace archival project, or HAP, um, we have to do their lost and found takes, tasks, takes, boat take. Okay, welcome to the Peace Lands. The Peace Lands were digital spaces where hypnospace, blah blah blah. When the love of power is overcome by the power of love, only then will this world know peace. Tina Price, 28 years old. That makes sense. I mean, there's young hippies, there's old hippies, but like, that makes sense. Whatever. I was like, I saw Peace Lands and I was like, oh, is this the same as like that other like shaman guy? I guess it's not. Chowder man, please come back home. What is this acoustic song? Sounds so different from Chowder man's other stuff. The final chapter of Chowder man's career as rock legend. Muscle boys, freak sheets. I mean, we might as well buy some of these because I really do love Chowder man. Look at that washboard abs. Of course, he, he probably is kind of a beer gut in real life, so I like, gotta, gotta represent yourself in, um, in art as what you wish to be, what you wish to become. And I wish to become a penguin right now. I don't know why, I don't know who I am. I'm tired. I always save recording Helium Lemon videos for really late at night, and then I'm really delirious. And I get the word delusional confused with the word delirious, like my girlfriend often does. Like, she'll we'll be talking and she'll be like, I'm delusional. I'm like, you're not delusional. If you're delusional, you would, like, think you were the, the queen of Egypt. Like, you're not delusional, you're fine. You're, you don't think you're the king of Sweden. Just delirious. You're so tired that you can't concentrate. Also, this video is the greatest thing of all time. Um, Christmas pain is in Christmas Town. Um, I ha it's such a meme. I had to goof around and just screw with the video to annoy all of you guys because I like doing incredibly stupid crap and just annoying you all. Uh, it's a good time when I get to annoy you all. This game is so good, I, just that they made stupid music videos like that. The whole thing is on YouTube, on Hot Dad's channel, please watch it. Hot Dad's real name is Eric Helwig, I think he's from Ithaca, New York, which is super cool because, like, that's where my girlfriend did her undergrad, so. That's where we're going next month, hopefully. We're gonna, like, go to an Airbnb and hang out and everything. Anyway, we found uh, the super secret uh, Chowder Man demo of One Legged Man, and it tells the story of how Chowder Man's career ended because he got into like a helicopter accident and like hurt his friend or something. Or maybe it's just about his friend who's a one legged man after an accident. One legged, my brain is lagging. I really like the take warping effect. It's subtle, but like the pitch wobble is a really nice effect. It's oddly nostalgic. It's like more nostalgic than something real. Like if it was 
Like something real probably wouldn't have that much pitch wobble on it. Except my dad's old Victrola, which he forgot inherited from some relative, and we tried to get it working, and it just there's too much pitch wobble. It sounds terrible. My parents think like I it's more pitch wobble than this. My parents think I hate it just because I have perfect pitch. I hate it because it sounds like seasickness. Like why would I perfect pitch has nothing to do with it. Anyway. Um Oh, this one took me a second. This one was kind of Actually, this was the one where I actually had to grab the walkthrough and be like, Ooh, I don't know what I'm doing." Um because actually the walkthrough was wrong. The walkthrough was kind of misleading. So you go to Red Strike, and Red Strike is this dude named Kevin. Um, Red Strike came to town. Here's a picture from a mag that did a review of the show. And here, like, he has some pretty cool rap songs. They're very nicely produced. They sound like, you know, rap from the early 2000s might sound, or hip-hop, I guess. I don't know. It's not my favorite kind of music, but it's not bad. Um, and then he's... Okay, that's pretty nice lyrics. Here's a different song. It starts with a very kind of soulful, like, R&B sort of piano sort of thing. The uncontested hip-hop and flip-flop ma- Wait a second, hip-hop is real in this universe? I thought they just called it flip-flop instead. Just to be funny. Hip hop and flip flop master. I know this thing called life can be ruthless. At times, wondering how you're gonna get through it. Auto worry and stress can be a nuisance, but it's always a better way. Interesting. So, hip hop and flip flop coexist in this universe. But they removed his music from the directory or whatever because they said flip flop wasn't real music. I wonder what they. I wonder, you know. It's very strange. Excuse me. I am a little bit of a burpasaurus, if you know what I'm saying. I say that my name is... Uh, what's that president's name? Tyler. What's... What's his name? What's his first name? Is it John Tyler? No, it's John Tyler. John Tyler, the U.S. president. I was thinking about it. Oh, this is a really interesting song. This is a really weird song. This actually reminds me a lot of my favorite genre of music, solo. Um, but that's that's a thing that I don't even have time to get into. That's a pretty cool song. I had never heard that before. I kind of stumbled onto this page by complete accident. And of course it's glitching because it's um, Nat Sadler, which isn't like supported by Hypnos. Hypnos. Hypnos, the Greek god of sleep. So yes, he is referencing Greek gods in this game, but like, the Greek gods and the Christian god can coexist in my opinion. I mean, I don't... That is to say, strictly speaking, I don't know if the Greek gods were real. Which I did have... I did have... I hope I'm not offending anybody, because I, I know a lot of people... I don't think that a lot of people think that, like, Zeus and Hades and Poseidon are literally real. But I knew... I had a friend in elementary school. Then again, we were all a little crazy in elementary school. Like, do you really expect us to say the same things? Oh, but then you you look at his headband ID and you can see that his name is Kevin K E K E V V I N N. I know this thing called. So you look you look for his Fliss directory. No, that doesn't work. And then and then I was stuck. I was like, I've tried searching for flip flop. What do I do? Like have to go forward in time. 
And this is this is such a weird mechanic, but it's an interesting mechanic where you're jumping through like the internet as it was on three very specific dates, like November fifth, November twenty sixth, and December thirty first. Um, I was like, yeah, I. It wasn't clear enough to me that like before he was Red Strike, he was Kevin, like he was just Kevin. And Kevin was his stage name, but also, like, his real name. So, like, what you have to do is search for Kevin. Kevin with two V's and two N's. But it's a little obtuse from the way the game presents it to you. Um, yeah, this game, is, this game is hard without a walkthrough. I will be completely honest. Thank you, motorcycle outside. But the thing is, I felt I actually felt kind of proud of myself because the the walkthrough just said to look up flip flop and you would find it. But it was actually my idea to look up Kevin, spelled that way, um, because that's his name. Maybe that's what his parents named him, or that's his stage name. Um, not me trying not to make a joke about like oh, some people's parents give them weird names. Like, uh, anyway, there are a lot of people with weird names out there, so, you know, never judge and try not to make fun of them. Uh, sometimes even if they make fun of your name, you still shouldn't make fun of their name. It does not give you a pass. Um, but I still, I am such a punster that sometimes I still make jokes about people's names. Like... Not jokes jokes like, huh, oh, your name is stupid, but I try to make, like, a clever pun, like, involving their names. So, like, so, like my friend, uh, that's not important anymore, because we found Kevin J, and he, we found his old demos. Dance until the very next day. And they're kind of hilarious. And he has all the lyrics for uh, <laughs> We Ah Dance. Written out. <laughs> He's, he messes up. Nice Why does he switch into a female voice? It's so. Oh three, and you can't stop me. That's with my friends, getting super happy. We've been going for a minute. No, minute, not gonna slow down. down. Come on, come gonna on, we're gonna ride, ride the floor now. We, 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 dance, dance, dance to the beat. Gonna stand on our heads, gonna dance with our feet. Let's dance, dance, Wonderland. It's the best of times with the best of friends. And then what's the other one? That's the same. I'm a dance, dance, dance to the beat. Dance, dance, Wonderland. Sitting at a table drinking pina coladas. Eating all the caviar, we ain't paying nada. Yeah, we rolled up on the resort and we slip right in. The buffet's always open and we always win. Cause we got in a buffet. No, we ain't ever gonna pay. Cause we made some way to friends. This buffet heist ain't never gonna end. Yeah, we got in a buffet. No, we ain't. That is really fun. That is really funny. Buffet heist. Oh, okay. Buffet heist. Oh, please don't play that song ever again. I do not want to hear it. Oh my god, we're in a toy factory and dance, 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 okay. dance to the beat. I'm gonna dance. Dance Wonderland. I remember when I used to play Just Dance on the Wii, and please don't judge me, I was like 11 or 12 or 13. Probably 13. I, I, uh, I think Boogie Wonderland at some point was my favorite uh, song in that game. Boogie Wonderland. Because it's a genuinely good song, you know. I don't like much pop music, but... Okay, thank you, Red Strike. I have heard what your so sounds music... I have heard what your sounds music sounds like. Yes. No, that's not what I want. Um... 
Oh yeah, I'm currently I also doing that Tori 3D playthrough. That's just kind of a placeholder game. I wanted to play something other than Hypnospace for a bit. I guess I, I'm enjoying Hypnospace. I wanted to play something other than... Oh, is that me laughing? I was laughing at something, I think. Oh, uh, dance, dance, dance to the beat with a hand of the dirt and a hand to the feet. Dance, dance, Wonderland. I'm, that's gonna be stuck in my head. The whole video. I hope it's stuck in your head too because it's pretty awesome. I'm a dance, dance, dance to the beat, gonna head to the ground and that dance with the feet. Dance, dance, Wonderland. Um. So now. We do a search for Ringleader Roddy. And we find a bunch of pages all associated with Roddy. And I don't think we ever looked at Roddy's project diary. So here's some of the things that he's working on. December 1999, one last hurrah. I'm not sure if I'll be staying around Hypnospace now that my ties to Merchantsoft are strained. It's really my fault. I chose this. But I do owe it to you guys and Dylan to finish what I helped start so long... So log on January 1st, 2000 for Dylan and my new Hypnos game. Dylan let me in on the plans for the year 2000 Hypnos, blah, 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 blah. Sam Witch update. Okay, MS Samantha. Hey, I got permission to make a diary of, wait, MS Samantha? The Samantha? Anyway. Oh my god. Yeah, the bug squashing stuff is kind of important, but I like how they're constantly in this game making fun of the people who run the internet. Like, oh, we got the interns to do all the boring stuff. Yeah, making sure the internet works is so boring. Like, I love how they made it so that, like, Dylan's... Oh, yeah, I was trying to be like, oh, hint, hint, hint. Aw, sad face. Yeah, hint, 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 Samwich is a thing, although I don't exactly remember what Samwich is. And the virtual pets, pets, the virtual pets are going to be more important than ever. Um, uh, we got a Taurus wallpaper, because we had that um, comic about the Minotaur dude. My girlfriend's a Taurus, haha. <laughs> but yeah, he, he made like a comic about a Minotaur dude. Um, and then I was like, well, I want to see the wallpaper that I just got. Oh, man. I'm having some hiccups. Oh, hiccups make me nervous. I mean, they say being nervous gives you hiccups, but uh, hiccups just make me unable to concentrate. It's a really weird feeling. Um, here's all our different wallpapers. The hypnospace wallpaper, the plain old checkerboards, the kind of liquidy thing. There's a nice sunflower. That one's from Seepage. That one's from Chowderman. Pretty awesome. And that's the new Taurus. So there you can see the character Taurus. He's got like a pretty cool like bionic, cybertronic, like mask sort of thing. I wanted to get rid of this stupid like hypnospace logo floating around, but like I guess I didn't want to get rid of it. Really, I just push it into a corner so I wouldn't have to think about it. Nobody puts baby in a corner. I think that's the line. It's like from a movie. From a pretty famous movie. <laughs> Test pet dot pet. I like how the file name for a virtual pet is dot pet. That's pretty great. Like the file name for a wallpaper is dot wall. <laughs> that's so stupid. Um, but anyway... Yeah, like, they really went all out in constructing an alternate version of the internet, because, like, none of the file names are the same, and yet you get used to them. Oh, and here's a little guy. He is weird. Like, what animal is that, even? Like, he's a weird little, like, squid dude. I need to sleep. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I didn't even know- oh, that's- oh! That's the cape from the Taurus comic. Now seeing the pet and seeing the wallpaper, I understand everything. Oh my god. I feel like I just had an epiphany. Oh. Samantha. Samantha from back in the day. She's contacting us. 
Okay, this is really important. I don't know if I'm going to be able to read all of it. So basically, it's we have to do some investigating about Dylan Merchant being all shady. And we're going to prove that Dylan Merchant caused the mind crash and not Tim. So now Sam is giving us a way to send stuff directly to her. Oh, and I really, really love this line, the line at the end of that email that's like, are you ready, dot, 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 partner? It just, it hits so hard. It's amazing. This game is amazing. This game is amazing. Anyway, the game's about to get pretty intense after this. It got pretty intense last episode, but um, I'm, I'm gonna leave you with dance, this song. Dance to the beat, gonna stand on my head, gonna dance with my feet, let's dance, dance, wonderland. Because I want this to be the one thing that you remember from this. I'm here to say, I'm dancing till the very next day, got dogs and bugs and friends around, I'm gonna rock this house. Dogs and bugs and friends? People say I'm short, but they don't stop me. Gonna hop on this table, gonna move around, gonna drink this poach. This punch gonna make this sound. Ha -ha. I'm Rosalita and it's nice I'm to Rosalita meet you. and it's Let me nice to meet you. Very best feature. Master flip flop, I drop the mic on ya. Gonna bring the jam, yo, let me warn ya. I'm 03 and you can't stop me. That's with my friends, getting super happy. We've been going for a minute, not gonna slow down. Come on, we're gonna ride the flow now. We a we a we a we a we a we we are yeah, dance, 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 dance to the beat. Gonna stand on our heads, gonna dance with our feet. Let's dance, dance. One okay, take care, and see you in the next episode of Hypnospace.